So what are folks in our area saying about the possible threat of Ebola? That's the question we asked today. Local 15's Taryn Reed has your response in tonight's Say What. It's scary. Uh, you know, with people coming over here from Africa, and you know, I don't know how they're going to stop it. It's a deadly virus. One person in the United States has already died. Now we're hearing of two additional cases, both of those nurses who treated patient Thomas Duncan, the man who later died. That's raising concern here in the United States. How many people did they come in contact with? Who all should be tested now? So we hit the streets to find out if you think Ebola is a real concern. Do you think our government is doing enough to stop it from coming to the United States? I think they're trying to do their best, but they're not used to something like this, and I think it's just hard for them to try to catch the people that's coming in. Mm -hmm. If they don't put it under control and stuff and all, that uh, uh, it's going to spread all over the place. Let's hope they get, get it under control. But not everyone agrees. The CDC says if something's not done about it, it could be a lot worse. Does that worry you? No, not really. I mean, it's been here for years. It's not a new epidemic mm -hmm. why people make it think that out to be so one of those nurses with a confirmed ebola case traveled on a commercial flight the day before she was diagnosed do you think the united states should ban flights to west african countries where ebola is present no why that's not the only place it is i do for a while anyway to um to keep people from coming back over here reporting in mobile taryn reed local 15 news